Next question. Not some children, a lot of children don't want to go to school. Why? Very few are intrinsically motivated to go to school. The rest of them need some motivation from somewhere else. If you ask a kid, almost every kid, with the exception of a few, maybe 1%, if you ask them, why do you go to school? Um, study. Why do you go to school? Uh, have to go. <laughs> why do you go to school? Make my parents happy. Why do you go to school? Get some knowledge. Why do you go to school? I have to go because otherwise then my future will not be good. You know, all those reasons are not the reason why we, sh we go to school. The right answer, you must answer these two questions. What do you want to be when you grow up? If you don't know that, even before you go to school, you will have no reason to go to school. What do you want to be when you grow up? The second question is, who do you want to be like? Oh, the kid won't know because the kid is probably seven years old, eight years old. They have no idea who they want to be like. So, we as parents, and I know this question is from parents, because kids are confused. Because everybody's going to school and there's so uh, lack of motivation. And therefore, the motivation comes from the big why of why they go to school. So if you can answer these two questions, and the thing is this, when I was young, before I went to school, I was so smart. They thought I was a genius. So everybody was looking at me, wow, this kid, you know, and they asked me, what do you want to be when you grow up? So I said, I want to be a doctor. And after the first year, first year I did very well. After that, my results dipped. When it dipped, they don't ask me anymore because it's like I'm not worthy of that question anymore because I wasn't doing well. Now that is when they should have kept asking me and I would have done better in school because that question lights a person up, reminds a person why they get up in the morning, reminds a person what TV programs they should watch, what programs on the internet they will research, the books they will buy when they go to the bookshop, the toys they will play with, all are related to what do you want to be when you grow up. Like my granddaughter, she wants to be a doctor, animal doctor. So her toys are about animal doctor. Do you know that? And therefore, there's another boy that I know, a 10 year old kid in Ho Chi Minh City. His name is Trevor. Yeah, her parents are, are business people. Trevor was 10 years old when he came to my program, OAC. And, and he wanted to be a robotics engineer. He's 10 years old, robotics engineer. Why? He wanted to uh, automate his father's company to make his electronic, uh, electrical products even better. So from the very beginning, somebody planted that beautiful seed in his mind and he is thinking of becoming a robotics instruct, uh, uh, engineer and he reads books on robotics, 10 years old. So the parents buy him those books and he's so happy because he already zoned in to what he wants to be when he grows up. He wants to help the father automate and make better products. You see, we're never too young to know where we are going in life and that will be the motivation why they go to work, why they go to school. Think about that. You as a parent, you are armed with these two questions. If you keep asking these questions, even though their results dip, they will find a reason to go to school and become that. Thank you.